Welcome, GCSC teachers. I would like to offer you a short video that will show you how to use your laptop to take a screenshot and upload it to an online portal. For example, this might come in handy if you are trying to upload a screenshot to a Google quiz for one of the mini courses that you can take on your own time for professional development. Many of you probably have taken screenshots with your iPad and are aware of how to use the camera and upload the picture from the camera roll, and that is certainly a valid way, but I would also like to show you how to do this on your laptop. You will need to access the snipping tool in order to successfully complete your screenshot. This example right here for this Google Docs and Google Drive quiz, you need to organize your Google Drive and then take a screenshot of it. So I have my Google Drive already open here. And you can see that I have a lot of folders, but I also have some uncategorized files. In order to access the snipping tool to take a picture of this, I'm going to hit the Start button, the Windows Start button. You will notice that my snipping tool is already located here on the Start menu because I use it very frequently. So I have it pinned there. If you do not use yours frequently, you can just type in Snip. The snipping tool will appear. You can click on the snipping tool. The screen will become grayed out. Um, that does not mean the program is not working. It simply means that you're ready to take a screenshot. Notice down here in the bottom, you have the option. You can do a freeform snip, a rectangular snip, a window snip, or a full screen snip. I'm just going to do a rectangular snip, and I'm going to grab a shot of the organization of my Google Drive. Once this opens, I have the option to do a couple of things. I can ink over the top of this and save it if I would like. I could also highlight over the top of it if I would like. Uh, I just want to save this so that I can upload it is all I want to do. So I'm going to hit the Save Snip button here, which looks like an old uh, three and a half inch floppy disk. I'm going to choose the location on my computer where I would like to save that. So for this example, I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm going to call this Screen Capture for Google Badge. And it asks me the type of file I would like to save it as. I can leave it as a PNG or a portable network graphic file. I'm going to hit save. Doesn't lo look like anything has happened, but if I minimize uh, both the snipping tool and my Google Chrome windows, I will see the screen capture is right there. And if I double click on it, it opens as a picture. Notice it is now in the Microsoft uh, Photos Viewer app. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to locate the Google Docs and Google Drive badge quiz. And this will obviously work for any of the uh, mini course quizzes. I just chose this one as an example. After I've answered all of the questions, I would go to the last question where I have to upload the file. I would hit Add File. And from there, I am going to go to Select a File from Your Computer. And I'm going to go to Desktop. And I'm going to find the name of the file. I, know, I went to Desktop, obviously, because that's where I saved uh, the file. And I believe I called it Screen Capture for Google Badge, which I did. I'm going to hit Open. It is going to upload. And notice that right now, the screen capture appears there. So I would answer the rest of the questions. I would hit submit, and then after you have done that, I will get an automated email that tells me that you have successfully completed the mini course, and uh, I will fill out a professional development badge for you, and also uh, later in the semester, everyone who completes a professional development course will receive a certificate. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, hopefully that will help you out as you work on uploading items for your mini course or uploading uh, pictures that you take of work on your computer to another online portal as well. Have a great day, and if you have any questions, please let me know.